Oh, hey everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Hey, it's a mighty Lieutenant Drakir at your service. And welcome back to L.A. Noir, where our, <laughs> our third detective is missing at the moment. Uh, he said he was still up for this, uh, and he hasn't responded to any pokes yet, so I'm presuming something just came up last moment, or they're just uh, unavailable at the second. But still hoping they'll pop up. Um, yeah. <laughs> Leaves us in a bit of an awkward spot. And yet, I, at this point, it's becoming a joke that I keep forgetting to turn on Do Not Disturb mode, huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, last time I needed to do quite a bit of editing after the fact due to, well the game not having censorship as an option, which in one way could be considered good, in another for streamers um, not so much when you are dealing with, well, naked corpses. For that though, I've uh, <clears throat> I've installed a, a plugin or two which allows me to do this. So I think we should be in the clear what with, with whatever uh, <laughs> shenaniganery the game is going to throw at us. So that I don't have to go frame by frame blurring out or rather boxing out a corpse. Yeah. Oh, what the heck. So yeah, that was quite a bit of editing. But I do know how keyframes now fun uh, work in editing. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, let's see. I don't want to wait too long on ROM. He's still marked as busy or AFK on this court. So I guess we're I guess we have to start a bit on well and wait for, and kind of hope that he still shows up. All right. Also I'm uh, typically I use a, a program called Chatty on the sides. To keep track of, uh, to keep an extra eye on chat, but I think that's the thing that's been causing games to become deselected. So I'm leaving that off for now, so we can see, well, if that is the culprit or not. All right. Yeah. Last time we got started on the case of the, yeah, what is it, the golden butterfly, and we just caught someone uh, being inappropriate. Hey, Cole. Get moving. Yeah, yeah, shut up. It being inappropriate towards the students here. Okay. And, oh, hello. Well, ain't that obvious. Blood and skin samples. We better get Ray Pinker out here. Well, that's about as uh, smoking as a gun as you can get. It's from a Chrysler. Could be important. Okay. Right. Ah, uh, okay. I see. I, I keep getting surprised that the, the the that the guide I'm bringing up for getting the answers on the interrogation it keeps it keeps remembering 
where I was, no matter how long ago the last stream of this was. And, well, that's uh, your holy trifecta of evidence. I wonder what Eli does for a living. Okay. And that's the car that's... Oh, what? That's the car that our uh, inappropriate friend, I'll just call them for now, was lurking around with. Or that was their car. I'm forgetting all the details since it's been a week since last time. Okay. And I don't think there's much else that we can find there, or anything else. I hope Rom is okay. Yeah. <laughs> he comes running. Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? What the hell? I need interrogation set up at Central for both suspects being held in the Mahler homicide case. Certainly, Detective. I'll get in touch with the Watch Commander. Thanks for your help. All right. So we have one suspect who was burning shoes and possibly other evidence. And the other one we just caught with, well, a bloody clothes, bloody uh, items. Uh, just in case, though, let me get in close. There we go. And is there anything else to find here? Now that I think we need anything else. Nope. To get... Yeah, we don't need anything else to get a conviction on either of these two. No. There's our car. So let's head on out. You can drive. Okay. Yep. Fine. Where are we headed? Everything's crossed out. I say we make Rooney for this. I think we should lay it on him. He was near the car, he had her jewelry, the DA will love him for it. Even if he didn't do it? Who cares whether he did it? You have kids, Phelps? He needs to be taken permanently out of harm's way. And we let Muller slide? For a while. He gets a free pass for me. Rusty's driving skills being rusty again. I don't like Rusty, like... <laughs> uh. Better not go soft on me, dear Phelps. We'll work the evidence, Rusty. Let him do the rest. Okay. We have one of the interview rooms this way, and the other one on the other side. So let's see who is here. Here's where we stand, Hugo. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. Okay. okay. Why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. What? That's a horrible reason. <laughs> yeah. That actually makes you more suspicious. That actually makes it worse in your case. Okay. Hmm. What are you going to guess? It, they seem to be keeping eye contact. Uh, almost. Yeah, at least. He's being fidgety, but, well, <laughs> this with the circumstances that he's under. Is he truthful? In this case, yes. Believe what? It's rabbit's blood. A guy at work brought him in and I helped him skin them. Okay. Uh, give me a second. I forgot to set the timer as well. Freaking course. Dude, if this, they could have run tests to identify if it was human blood or not. But now he's destroyed that. 
Do you know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. He's lying, but do we have proof? In this case, we don't. You learned to strangle with the rope in the army? With rope, with uh, my bare hands, but mainly with wire. I learned a lot of things in the army, but I, I still didn't kill my wife. For argument's sake, what type of rope would you use? If I had to, I would use a triple braid. Less flex, easier to control. Okay, that's the type of rope that we found. But if he would admit to that, that'd be a really, really stupid admission. Okay. Mm. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. Hmm. Seem fidgety. I'm gonna show this one. We did find these. H.M. Hugo Muller. Yeah, what, what is his name again? Yeah. Hugo Muller is his name. It, it can't really pull mm. up the... If, when I pull it up like that, he, he instantly goes to here. But you can't see it for a bit. Yeah, Hugo so, Muller. I, I that. Mm. so yeah. Is it doubt? Enough lies, Hugo. Your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. My overalls are in the laundry of my house. No, they're not, because we found them in the trunk. Green overalls, bloodstained, with the initials HM, found in the trunk of your wife's car. They can't be mine. Why, Hugo? Because if they were yours, they'd be in the incinerator too? Okay, and lastly... Your wife was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. Out? You're lying, Hugo. You're gonna have to come clean on this. Oh, you got no proof. Yeah, we found this in the car as well. Your wife drove a Chevrolet, Hugo. What make of car do you drive? A uh, Chrysler Airflow. So I guess that explains why the tire iron that killed your wife came from a Chrysler. We can't charge him, but we still have another suspect to interrogate. Yep, oh, and we got a new outside. We got a new outfit. Okay. Rusty is beelining for this one. I don't care. I don't go in for off Scott Street. Captain, uh, we were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Yes, folks, I know. This particular fiend is an old acquaintance. I have tried to reaffirm his belief in a wrathful and terrible God. Whichever way it goes. I'll be dealing personally with him. Mm. Okay. You look like you've had it rough. You see me asking for your sympathy, boy? Okay. Right? Let's see. I'm just going to put these in the order that I get them in the guide to not lose track. They see big trucker shove a smoke bomb down his pants. <laughs> Okay, that's out of nowhere. Uh, how are you doing, trucker? 
Hello, trucker! You're down on your luck, Eli. I had worse. My family ate roadkill during the Dust Bowl. But you have a job. A parolee has to have a job, correct? I had me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. I have faith in the Lord. Do you, senor? I seen a bit fidgety. Can't keep eye contact. Do you have proof against his lying? No. Actually, let's simplify things a bit. Let's just say truth or... Uh, <clears throat> truth or lie, and then I'll just say if there is... Uh, yeah, with these following ones, just truth or not, and if it, then I'll just yeah, review if it is doubt or lying. All right, I and I say we say lie. You're wrong. Okay. Oh, that's the next one over. I accidentally scrolled down. This place you worked have a name? Hennessy Marine. Yep. H M. You can't misplace big yellow letters H M out front. They give you any work wear, Eli? Sure. Green coverall. Dang thing was hot, fella guy was back in the pen wearing it. Alright, that's the same thing that uh, you go... That's the, that matches with the same... Th that, that matches with the overalls we found, so they might not be Hugos after all. Okay. Yeah. You ever tie up any of your victims, Eli? It's not a nice thing to go calling them. What would you call them? I can't say. I learned a long time ago not to go talking about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you. See what I mean? Short answer is yes. You have any preference regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. That's not what you mean, is it? Any old rope will do me fine. Hmm. Uh, this is a tricky one for both all candidates, dude. This one, but what what would his motives be? That he got caught, or just plain old robbery? That maybe she maybe he has done so. Uh, she was to be a witness to one of his uh, horrible acts. Maybe, yeah. But for now, truth or lie? I think it's truthful here. Farm boy like you, Eli, must prefer McGay for roping, am I right? I prefer braid, tie hitching braid, stays tied. <laughs> Same rope type? Okay. Motive? That's you what killed we Mrs. Muller and stole her jewelry. That ain't so. I ain't done nothing like that. You, you were literally caught with one of her pieces of jewelry in your pockets, dumbass. Yeah. But that face. They're lying. You have no job and nowhere to live by the smell of things. And you need money. You've been in trouble before, Eli. Who do you think a jury will believe? I've been in trouble for other things, but I ain't never killed no one. I saw that car coming to the parking lot late last night. Man got changed there and put his coveralls in the trunk. I saw him drop the butterfly in the lamplight and he strolled out, cool as you like. And I went over and I picked it up. Gee? What size boot do you wear, Eli? Kind of like anything I get my hands on. I'm wearing 11s. You see a lion again? It's the same face. He's pulling. Yeah, he's lying. You're maybe 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, tops. And you wear size 11s? I don't think so, Eli. That might be on the large side. 
Maybe tens. Maybe eights. Now that I come to think of it. Why punish children with your iniquity, Eli? Do you think I was never punished? You must know what you're doing is evil. Well, son, nobody's perfect. Okay. And now we have a dilemma. We have two potential suspects, both of whom who had access to materials and, well, both were caught practically with their pants down. The question, but we can only charge one of these two. So, who shall it be? Uh, let me, do you know, the, do you already know the right answer? I don't remember it. Hmm. I don't remember which might be the right answer. Oh, the guy doesn't tell you. Yeah, it's just it just gives the yeah, it just gives the answers for the questions, not anything else. Where is Rom? Yeah, where is Rom? This on you. He should have been here by now. Okay, now he's marked as offline. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so maybe something did come up. Maybe a surprise visit from the family again. Could be. Um, and then we have our, and then we have a bit of a dilemma of our own because we could either stop with LA Noir and move over to uh, Dave the Diver and continue with him, uh, continue with Rom present next time. But it's a bit, mm, it's a bit short on that. Mm. Yeah, I feel no, no, now he's on. Uh, now he's AFK again. Have he, he mm. maybe had interconnection issues or something? You're as good as done, Mr. Rooney. All it will take now is some paperwork. Maybe. It's, there's something going on over there at the absolute least. And yeah, we might as well sit somewhere outside of the suspenseful music. And yeah, it is either the husband, Hugo, who has been known to have a temper. Or the pedo who is, was caught with the uh, jewelry. No. Drive me to the school just to hit her. When argument will be a bit weird. Yeah, it's a weird no. place to dump the car all the same. But I think we can say that neither of these two is all too intelligent with things. Yeah. Hmm. Like, had he not burnt his shoes, then maybe you would just run the test to see if it was right blood, then he would be clean. Yep. So he could just be bullshitting us on that as well. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. Hmm. I wanna stop so the question is, do we know, do we put away a known uh, public nuisance? Or someone, you know, or a father to leave uh, their child, well, orphaned, pretty much, since, well, whoever we pick for this is likely to hang. Yeah, and, oh, right, he did, the, the daughter said, did say he did leave, uh, so he could, uh, he had to have to uh, just drive around to relax, which could be a yeah. lie. Yeah, which, which, either way, lie or not, it doesn't give him an alibi for where he was at the time. And, well, Mr. Over There also doesn't have an alibi. And, yeah, they both could have been just copycatting the Black Dahlia killer. So, well, pun we have to try and pin the blame on someone else. Right? You ran the light on Olympic, you finally followed him in the temple. So, yeah. Trucker, you want to weigh in on this? Wait, what? I think his name is I read about uh, <laughs> okay, we're we're just close enough for that to pop up, but... Help me out. Yep. For my money, Hugo Moller's our number one suspect. The evidence is solid. 
I think it's time we hit him with it. Okay, I thought that was for talking with Hugo, not with Rusty. So Rusty's vote is on Hugo. Despite our public nuisance over here. And now Rom is marked as offline again. Yeah, it could be network problems there. Uh, shall we finish this up and then uh, just move over to Dave the Diver? Or shall we just leave it on a cliffhanger here? Uh, yeah, could be could be leave the cliffhanger. I feel like having Rom on this one would probably be a good idea. Yeah, as a tiebreaker as well, because Rusty has put his votes. Yeah, uh, trucker, I don't have a clue. I just got here. Yeah, we we we're dealing with a murder case with the wife of Hugo uh, Mahler, and yeah, he was caught burning shoes and possibly other evidence just as we left. And yeah, he's been noted as being violent already. He admitted to it himself under some pressuring. And then we have the local, uh, yeah, the local nuisance who has been bothering kids at the, lo at the local school, who was caught with stolen you know, with jewelry that was stolen from the victim. And right next to the car in which we found overalls with blood, a tire iron with blood, and also right. just a, <laughs> the same kind of rope that this victim was uh, tied up with. <clears throat> but yeah, we have... yeah, Both of them could have done it, but yeah. We'll wait, we'll wait on Rom for this next time, then. Yeah, something really must have popped up last minute because I asked him half an hour ago if he was still available. So yeah, cliffhanger. We'll call this uh, more LA Noir 4.5 or something. Yeah, yeah I think we will. I think we will uh, duct tape this one into the next uh, LA Noir video. Yeah. So ending the recording on this here.